Hey everyone, I recently shared over on Instagram and on my YouTube community page that I recently attended a favorite things party and a lot of you reached out to me and asked if I would explain more what that is and share some of the gifts that were given, handed out, or just some gift ideas. So if you've never heard of a favorite things party and you wanna know more, keep watching. And I have 18 gift ideas that aren't just good for a favorite things party, but they also make excellent hostess gifts, stocking stuffers, secret Santa type gifts, because all of them are $30 or less. So if you're unfamiliar with the idea of a favorite things party, there's lots of variations on this. I'm gonna share the one that I'm familiar with. It's the one that I attend every year, hosted by my friend Susie. Hey Susie, great party this year. So the general idea is someone hosts the party at their home, usually in November, because it serves as a way to sort of kick off the holiday season, and it's a really good way to get ideas for stocking stuff or type gifts for people on your list. A lot of people will also make it a potluck type thing, so in addition to the gifts that you're bringing, you'll bring a dish and a recipe card for everybody that's attending. And a lot of women also like to make this more of a pajama party, which just lends to kind of the festive air. It's, it's a lot of fun and there's a little less pressure on what are you gonna wear? You're gonna wear a cute pair of pajamas. The idea behind the Favorite Things Party is the hostess decides on a budget. It's usually anywhere from 20 to $30. I've seen $15 gifts, $20 gifts. The top end I've seen is $30. And when you get your invitation, the hostess will indicate the budget and how many you should bring. So in this case, Susie decided that it was a $20 budget and we should bring three of the same item. We bring them unwrapped in a big bag because when it is your turn to present the gifts, you're going to hold it up and explain what it is and why you've chosen it. And you're going to use that big bag to bring home three of the gifts that you receive or two or four, depending on the number that your hostess decides on. Now, as far as how you hand out the gifts, there are so many ways to do it. The way that Susie does it is when we get to her house, she has two piles of paper and two bowls. In one bowl, we just write our name uh, three times on three different scraps of paper, fold it up, throw it in there. That's where they draw the names to see who gets the gifts. The other pile of paper is kind of like an icebreaker. This year she had written on there, what was your first job and what is something that you would like to learn? And you don't put your name on that. So when it comes time to start handing out the gifts, generally the hostess starts things off by pulling out one of the icebreakers she reads it, everyone in the group tries to guess who it is, and whether the person reveals himself or they get guessed, that's who starts handing out the gifts. So that person then gets up, presents their gift, tells what it is, and then picks three names out of the bowl. After she's handed out the gifts, she then picks an icebreaker, reads it off, and it goes from there. Some people just draw numbers. Some people steal each other's gifts. It's more like a white elephant type style. There's all kinds of variations. If you'd like to share how you do a favorite things party, please let us know in the comments. It's a lot of fun. There are a lot of variations. Now that we all know what a favorite things party is, let's talk about the 18 things that I have found that will serve you well for your favorite things party or like I said, stocking stuffers, secret Santas, office parties, all that kind of stuff. But I will start with what I presented as my favorite thing this year. So I've had this probably for close to a decade. I use it every single morning unless I'm not here. It is a coffee warmer. You plug it in, it turns on with this little switch. It does not have an auto off timer, which I prefer. You set your mug of your hot beverage, coffee, tea, hot cocoa, whatever, it keeps your mug warm. It keeps the liquids inside warm. This one lives on my nightstand. Every morning I get up, drink my coffee, and as I'm sitting in bed, I go over the comments that came in from the night before, catch up on some emails that came in last minute, drink my cup of coffee. This is great to have on your desk. And I also have one of these by my front door because it also serves incredibly well as a candle warmer. Same kind of concept as a wax melt warmer. Set a scented candle in a container on here, turn it on, and it will heat up the wax and the scent and fragrance will go throughout the room, if not the whole house. I like that it is not an auto shut off just because I like to linger over my coffee and usually it turns off too quickly, but you do have to remember to turn it off. So that was what I gave. I gave this and I ordered three of my favorite candle brand from Walmart and the scent I picked was pumpkin spice because we're still in November and I didn't want to skip ahead to December scents. So that was what I brought. Now, since we're talking about scented candles, my next gift recommendation would be a scented candle and this electric slash USB candle lighter. I've shared this before. This is also great to have if you have little kids in the house or younger children in the house and you want something a little safer than leaving an, a traditional lighter or matches around. So you plug this in through a USB charger. Mine is not charged. And when you depress the switch and slide it up, see those little prongs? You'll, you'll have almost what looks like a little bug zapper, a little spark 
flying in between these two prongs and you use that to light the candle. So it's kind of a cool little gadget, it's safe, super handy, you just gotta remember to charge it. Next, at the party that I attended this month, there was a lot of fascination with laundry type gifts. And so I have two that I wanna recommend to you. I've recommended this before. It comes in a set of three, but I used one of them up. It's a little sampler of the Tyler Candle Company Glamorous Wash. It's a sampler of three of their most delicious scents. I personally save mine, not for my clothes, but for bed linens, but you can use this on clothes. The way that I use these to make them last a little longer is I'll get unscented liquid detergent and then just add a splash of the scent into the detergent compartment. And that's still plenty powerful to make my linen smell amazing. So this is a great option as a gift. But then at the party, I learned about this and I had ordered it immediately and I've been washing all of our linens in this. This is the Dirty Labs Bio Laundry Detergent. It's a similar concept. I like this scent a little better. The Tyler version, they can be quite strong. This is magnolia, bergamot, and cedar. And there's a, this is the original scent. And it's a very concentrated amount. It comes with this little beaker, so you can measure it out. And it smells divine. Absolutely love this. Okay, I need to stop saying that because obviously I love all these things. I'm recommending them as ideas for my favorite things. Another gift that I received at the favorite things party was this. Acacia cutting board. I think it is adorable. Uh, it was recommended that you could put a bow on this and make this look like an ornament during the holiday season. You can never have enough serving trays. This has little rubber feet on the back, which is nice as well, or silicone feet. When I received this at the Favorite Things party, the giver also included a package of, I think it was toffee encrusted almonds. You can add anything that would not be perishable to a charcuterie board. So maybe a jar of fancy olives, some chocolates, anything that you would, you know, some nuts of some kind. So that makes for a really good favorite things idea too. Another gift that I received at the favorite things party was the like little combo pack. So in the bag was these Dr. Teal's bath salts. They come in a bunch of different scents, flavors, whatever. This is the pink Himalayan mineral soap. And she combined that with, I love these, the Lumify eye drops. I keep forgetting to use mine, so the one I actually have has expired. So I'm glad I got a new box. These don't do anything to really hydrate the eye, but if you want your eyes to look super, super white, pop these in. If you wear contacts, wait 15 minutes before you put your contacts in, and the whites of your eyes are incredible. I know a lot of YouTubers pop these in right before filming. I always forget. I wanted to also recommend, if you don't want to give this big bag of bath salts the same brand, it's the Epsom salt. I should have made clear that's the amazing part of it. They also make a liquid version in different scents as well. So these combined make for a very lovely gift. Now let's get on to just, not related to the party, just some more gift ideas. So we all know everyone loves the Stanley. Generally, Stanleys go above the budget, but I wanna recommend this one, just one size down. This is the Stanley Flip Straw Tumbler, I believe. This is the 30 ounce. The 30 ounce is above our budget, but if you get one size down, the 20 ounce, it's right at $30. So if you have one of the higher budget parties, if you're going to a bougie favorite things party, check out this one because everyone loses their mind for Stanley cups. Wanted to recommend that one. Another one that I want to recommend, I'll just pop in a picture of it. They're all over my house. The Ruched Faux Fur Throw from Walmart. I think it's from the Better Homes and Gardens line. I have two of them. I've given two more out as gifts. I could have done that this year as well. It would have gone over really well. Last time I checked, all restocked on the Walmart website. They are gorgeous and they look exactly like the ones from Pottery Barn, way less expensive. And the advantage of the Walmart version is they're machine washable and dryer safe, which is important because my dogs sleep on them. Speaking of Walmart, this arrived today. I ordered this and was so excited when I saw this. This is their Time and True Cozy four piece travel set. So this is one of the pieces, this zipper bag. Looks a lot like Barefoot Dreams, doesn't it? Feels just like it. And when you open it up inside, okay, I haven't actually opened it, so I'm very excited to see what this looks like in person. So here's the bag. It's a pretty good storage bag. Comes with a sleep mask, the same print, and this, this option comes in several other colors and prints. Comes with the cozy socks. This is what really got me excited. And a matching scrunchie. So I think this is absolutely adorable. Love all of this. This would make great favors for bridesmaids as well. Anyway, lots of good ideas there. Okay, next, I actually purchased this last year. 
this jewelry box. There are different size variations on this, so the price kind of fluctuates. The one I found was right at $29. Again, higher budget favorite things, but it's so pretty. It has the clear top so you can see what's inside. And then there are at least two drawers. This one's divided and it's lined in the velvet. This one isn't. I think it is a beautiful gift, a little bit larger, but it's, it's pretty lightweight as well. It reminds me very much of the one I have from Kendra Scott, obviously slightly smaller and way less on the budget. It wouldn't be a favorite things list of recommendations if I didn't list another one of my personal favorite things, my steamer. A few of you have recently reached out and asked for the steamer. Here it is. I love this thing. Uh, it's meant to be a travel steamer. I use it every time I have to steam something in my house. And when I travel, it comes with me. Best steamer I have found, and I've been trying a lot of them out. Absolutely love this one. Since I brought up travel, this is another one I recommend this year after year, the hanging toiletry bag. You don't have to save this for travel. Quite a few of you have told me that you have, you know, a smaller bathroom, not a lot of vanity space. What do I recommend that you store your makeup in? This would work great for that. Has a nice outer pocket. I have a scrunchie in here to hold my hair back. And then inside are multiple compartments. This is actually the smaller one. There is a larger one as well if you have more makeup. So I keep this one for travel, but I know plenty of people who use this to store their makeup and it, you know, it has a hanging hook here so you can hang it on your towel bar or whatever. And then it's really easy to fold everything back up and store this under your sink, on a counter, what have you. I think this is a very handy idea. And then this one is completely random as so many of my recommendations are. This, especially if you're someone like me who gets a lot of packages, this is a game changer. This is a ceramic blade box opener. So it's very ergonomically friendly. It's also child safe because the ceramic blade will not cut. I mean, you gotta like, if you stab at it, I guess it will, but it won't cut your hand open. I mean, I'm not trying to be gentle here nothing, right? I'm not bleeding out. There's the tiny little ceramic edge. This makes opening boxes and even those Amazon bags, if they're stuffed too tight, that are sometimes too hard to open. You just, vroom. I have two of these in the house. I keep one by the front door and I keep one in the kitchen. Probably need one in my office as well. You can order them singly or they come, I think in packs of two or three. One more random idea before we move on to more beauty centered items. During the holidays, we have friends over, we have family hanging out and it's fun to pull out a game and our game collection is getting kind of old and we're all playing the same games over and over again. I recently picked this one up and it's on sale right now. This is called New Phone Who Dis. It's an adult oriented game, although there's nothing above PG rating, it's my understanding. So you could play it, you just have to be able to read. And so basically what happens is, well, you know what? Click on the link and read the instructions, but it's it's a fun game. I'll link to a few more other games that I recently picked up in anticipation of having some guests over during the holidays, just some fun things to do. You know, everyone needs an update on the board game or, you know, game collection in their game cabinet, right? So I love this idea. I also like that it's small unlike board games that sometimes are really hard to store. So moving on to more beauty oriented gifts, you can never go wrong with either a box of one kind of face mask, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about beauty face mask or eye masks, or if they come individually packaged, you can put a bunch of things together. So this was actually one of the gifts at the favorite things party I attended this month. And I was like, oh, I love those. These are the 24 karat gold eye masks, and these are great for under eye circles, for puffy eye circles puffy eye circles, puffy eyes. What I personally love about these is that they're individually packaged, so they are great for travel. They're also great if you wanna break them up and hand them out in you know, a stocking stuffer type situation or party papers, whatever. So this was one of the gifts at the party. Another one that is super popular, and again, I think you could break these up and kind of package them together, are the, the chin straps, the firm, you lift and firm all the things up. It does work. You do have to leave them on close to an hour to really see the effects and it's not gonna last forever if you have an event coming up or something. I pretty much should live in these. These are fantastic. And again, they come individually wrapped as well. Now these are selling out pretty quickly. It's another idea for a mask set. And honestly, I think this is fantastic. Obviously I think this, I handed them out as gifts to friends of mine at a dinner I just recently went to. But this is a little Peter Thomas Roth masking set. You get five of their most popular ones. I'd say that, I'm gonna say a serving size. You could probably get two uses out of each of these if you're a little judicious in your application. It has the water drench, hyaluronic uh, gel mask. It has the 24 karat gold mask. My personal favorite, the pumpkin enzyme mask, the cucumber gel mask, and their therapeutic, I think that's what it's called, sulfur mask, which is 
quite interesting. There are several versions of the Peter Thomas Roth mask sets. They come out with them every year. Most of them are way over our $30 budget. This one comes in at 19 bucks. This one is an oldie, but a goodie and definitely needs to be recommended. These are, they call it a two in one, but there's two of them. There's two in two, it comes in a pack. Facial massagers, I don't know if mine are still, I haven't, oh, mine's still working. There's a little AA battery in these. Can you hear the vibration? And this works well even without the vibration because it's so cold. I love this T-shaped one right here for when I have headaches. It feels fantastic. And then this one are the rotating balls. I mean, I don't know how to say this. Let's keep it rated PG here. Okay, anyway, you can turn it on and rotate it, but again, this is the best for if you have like a sinus headache, if you have puffy eyes. I was introduced to this when I had to do a photo shoot and the makeup artist came to my house to do my makeup and she brought these and did this to my face before she started applying the makeup. It also does a really great job right here on the jawline. Oh, this feels great. Anyway, these come together in a package, fantastic. And then the last, if you're counting, this is actually 19, not 18. I midstream added something to this list. It's not exactly this, but I need something to hold up. So we all hate cleaning our brushes. I bet you, if you asked any woman, what's your least favorite thing about applying makeup, they're gonna say, one, putting on false lashes, two, trying to apply liquid eyeliner, and three, probably the most popular answer is cleaning my brushes. And what I have used for years and only use is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner, as you can see. I'm at the bottom. I just placed an order for another one this morning, but they have a little gift set. So they have, I'll just pop in a picture of it, a smaller version of this that comes with a little tin that you use to put the liquid in and then swirl your brush around. This is gonna probably be the most popular item that if you bring that to a favorite things party, people will lose their minds. It makes brush cleaning so easy. Like it doesn't damage your brushes and the brushes dry within minutes if they're an eyeshadow brush, probably in under an hour if it's a thicker, denser face brush. But regardless, makeup game changer. So those were 19 suggestions for a favorite things party, hostess gift, secret Santa, stocking stuffers, if you will. Please let me know if you'd like to hear more about some gift guide ideas. I do have one more video plan, slightly higher, price points and clothing and a couple other things in there as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future recommendations. I hope that you had fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You all are also part of my favorite things. So thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.